Welcome back to Game Free Thoughts. So we just saved Dingleberries, uh, Tingleberries, Tingle. <laughs> um, so since we did that, now we can come over here and we can bargain with Mr. Uh, Shout at Jars, man. Ah! Uh, <laughs> we, can, we can bargain with that guy. Just kidding. We actually need to talk to Mr. Eskimo over here. And he's going to be like, Ah! My story is a strange one. I came across curses from a land far away. A land where visits blow violently, heading to this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, the terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits, yet mysteriously only that escaped without as much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is one of my only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in town, so I am desperate in need of finances. So, how does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much indeed. I have recently precise. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. Yeah. We got a boat sail. You press A on your boat to pull it out, and then push B to put it away. Ooh, yikes. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master, and you shall be saved my life as business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it, treat it as such. Except for that there's a better sail out there that we cannot quite get quite yet. Um, so, we have what we need here. Um, I don't particularly think there's anything too important to do at the moment. I know for sure there's lots to do here, but at the current moment, I think it might benefit us more to continue on our quest and adventure further east. Um, so we shall do that. Oh, that look in your eyes. So you found a sail, have you? Very well. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hole and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail which will catch the wind... The sail will catch the wind which will push the boat forward. The arrow that points... That appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use L to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put the sail away. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? You got it. Ah, one more thing. When you are at a sail, if, when you are at sea with a few landmark with few landmarks. Wow, I am doing awful in this reading thing today. Um. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, select a map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game with plus and confirm your position. Now, a restly, westerly wind blows. Hop in and let us carry us to the east. That was a lot of directions. Hop in and we shall travel to the northwest while heading east. Thank goodness the southwestern eastern wind that's helping us go west. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, we're out on the ocean now. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is my favorite part of this whole game, honestly. It's just going around the ocean. Like, it's just so nice looking. And then the music's very heroic. I'm like, yeah, I'm Zelda. <laughs> I remember, oh, when was it? I can't remember how long ago it was, but my wife figured out that Link is actually named Link instead of Zelda. She, like, everyone who knows nothing about Legend of Zelda thought that Link was Zelda, because it's the main Zelda thing you see if you don't know Zelda is the character Link. So she thought that that was Zelda. So when I was like, I think we're playing like Smash Bros. or something, I'm like, I'll be Link. And I selected Link, and she's like, wait, what? That's Zelda. I thought that was Zelda. And I was like, no, it's Link. She's like, but then who's Zelda? And so then I was like, this is Zelda. And so then she's like, but wait, I'm confused. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, because I, it, you've never played a Zelda game. And now she's played a little bit of Wind Waker. I'm very much a Wind Waker, but I think actually we were about to the point where my wife ever got in this game. So I'm doing good, doing good. Um, I like how I have this whole tribe of seagulls hanging out with me. And they're like, we shall guide you. It's like a police escort. Woo -woo. Clear the seas coming through. Very important person. It's like, ooh, that'd be, I, would, I think that'd be way rad to get, like, a police escort to something. I'd be like, cool, I have a police escort. I'd be like, that'd be so fancy. Like, ooh, I'm fancy. Alrighty, we're almost to our destination. Hopefully. I don't know, I mean, it's slowly appearing in the distance, so I think we're getting near, nearer to where we need to be. And then we shall be there, and it'll be awesome. Great! Ah, oh, I was going to collect that. Oh, okay, cool. I still got the rupee I wanted. There! On the horizon! That is our destination, Yasai. Dragon Roost Island. Are you ready for the best song in this whole game? 
All right. Um, high on top of this island, the peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Baloo. Cool. Please, you must go see this dragon and request for him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island to, about how to see the dragon. Sounds good. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. So here, take it. Even so, I thought it might perhaps be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Yay! First, conduct in a 3-4 time. Do not touch L, and try to match the rhythm tilting right, up, down, or right. Okay, up, down, right... Up, down, right. We did it. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4. Four, four. Hold left stick left to change the rhythm. Then match the rhythm and tilt right stick right. Up, right, left, and then down. Up, right, left, down. Cool. So when you change the timing, and then up, right, left, down. We did it. That's it, Yasai. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can conduct it with 6-4 time by tilting right, the left stick right. You would do well to remember that. Thanks. You receive the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Use right stick to conduct. Do not tilt left to conduct in 3-4. Hold it. Okay, we already know all that. Great. Let's go learn a song. Um, at least we'll learn something if you head back this way. Because there's this neat old little shrine over here. And it's like, what's up, shrine? Ain't got the time to rhyme for a shrine. Let's see. It appears to be the markings that indicate specific directions. Well, the specific directions. Up, left, right. Ooh. Got it. Nice. I love the Wind Waker. It was a fun little mechanic. You learned the Wind's Requiem. You're going to be playing this thing a lot. <laughs> Great! And then... Yeah, that's a mighty nice breeze. Sup, dude? <laughs> the name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. Just casually coming down here to tell you what up. So you're the new Wind Waker, are ya? Great, great. For a beginner, you got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control of the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, it can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should just see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his moment monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So, if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother, will ya? And that is my request for you. He's out of here. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. So pretty much he told us to uh, attack his brother if we see his brother out and about, which we won't be able to do until we get the uh, bow and arrow. So we will not be attacking his brother for quite some time. In the meantime, we shall be running away s fiercely with tears in our eyes and friendship in our eyes. Friendship in our hearts. Hey, I blew up what I wanted to blow up and I hurt myself. Everything worked out really swell for me, didn't it? Okay. I can do that. Ooh, I need that money. I was like, ooh, wait. <laughs> halt. Money. Cash money. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. And then we'll sneak up here. Blow that up. Boom. Get that 20 roops. You think yeah, there's got to be some Zelda character that calls them roops. It's like, give me those roops, baby. And you're like, okay. Sure thing, pal. Here's some roops. <laughs> Reminds me of Family Guy when uh, Brian calls Rupert roops. Or Roop. Um, he's like, oh, Rupert's stupid. He's like, oh, Rupert's got some steak up here. Are you kidding me? Did it blow it up at least? No, well, that was a complete waste of my time. Okay, well, now we got to go around. That was ridiculous. It was like the bomb bounced off the rock, because bombs can bounce off rocks like that. Um, it was just like, thump. Okay, can't reach it from there, that's fine. Dang it, that was annoying. I was like, yeah, and then the bomb had other plans. He was like, no. <laughs> no, yo. It's like, oh man, come on, dude. Like, that's not cool. 
It's like, whatever. Alrighty. So, sneaking across this away. And we'll try this again. Maybe I'll, like, actually go and physically set the bomb in front of it this time because that seems to work a little bit better. Okay, set and move and wait and blow up. Great. We did it. Now we can go into the Rito. Is it Rito or Rudo? Because I think Rudo is the name of the Zora in the Ocarina of Time. Yes, I, yes, I, is that you? You remember me from the beginning of the game? It is, I'm pleased to see you're okay. You don't remember me. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? We don't know. She's dead, I guess. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, yes, I, would you like to meet our chieftain? He told my people here about you. I've told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are excited or concerned. Wow. Um, we're so excited your sister got kidnapped. It's so great. I'm certain that the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our heir. As it's settled then, I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Yasai. I'll be waiting. Watch. She flies literally, like, two, like, two feet over there. Oh, well, he flies, like, clear up there. But, like, all we gotta do is just walk in that door right here. He's like, I will go let them know. And then it's like, okay. And then I'm like, boom, two seconds. Here I am. Problem solved. <sighs> cool. All right, cool. More dialogue. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Well, have you discovered the cause of Great Valu's anger? He shook his head no, by the way. <laughs> ah, so you are Yasai, are you? Quill has told me all about you. The troubling tale, indeed. Just like how my nose goes all the way up to my forehead, I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. Okay. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop of the mountain? No. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are pro profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airwave. Like on the radio. Uh, we do so by the graces of the Sky Spear of Valu. When Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Okay. But, does that still explain your nose being all the way up to your forehead? Um, recently, however, the Great Gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never receive scales from Valu of Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. The Chieftain of Rudo, my first problem, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Sounds good. Or maybe I'll just solve your problems for you. Chieftain, would you think of consulting Yasai with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you see, Yasai is a galleon, young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. My son has self-confidence problems. Will you solve them? That may be in small text. All right. Let me be direct, my son. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is one of age to learn earn his wings. Yet he is weak. He's a little bitch. In some way, he, in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? No, I don't care. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we better, may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Med Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Great. That was a lot of talking. Here, yes, I take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. You got a delivery bag. Finally crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold so many items. Select it on the item screen with X, Y, or R to see what you have inside. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Alrighty. Okay. Well, that was some shenanigans. Alrighty, folks. Well, we will call this an episode, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching the game for your thoughts, and we'll catch you later.